everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Today's expression, serious stuff, a sad state of affairs. A sad state of affairs. Now, let's focus on state of affairs. When we say state of affairs, we mean the current situation, the current status. We say status or status, S-T-A-T-U-S. So, you know that I had a surgery three weeks ago. And you could ask me, so Shane, what's the state of affairs on your surgery? How's the state of affairs regarding your surgery? How is it? What's the situation? Are you recovering well? Everything is good, 100%, 80%, where are you? How is the recovery? That's the idea. So if you ask me, Shane, what's the state of affairs regarding your surgery? I would say, ah, it's going well, not 100%, but going well. Now, actually, when we say state of affairs, we usually don't ask about somebody's surgery we'll ask about the uh, a bigger picture like the economy or the political situation uh the environment something like that and today's dialogue will talk about chicago where i live right now and the situation in chicago in some areas in sports it's great it's a great, wonderful, happy state of affairs. But in another situation, it's a sad state of affair. And when we say sad, it might be <laughs> sad, but it can also mean pathetic, not good, really terrible, dismal, D-I-S-M-A-L. Check that word in a dictionary. And yeah, check out the dialogue. <gasps> Over 500 shot dead in Chicago so far? This year. And guns are illegal here. It's a sad state of affairs. Yeah. 500 people shot dead in the city of Chicago. Not in one day. In the last nine months, ten months. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, pretty scary. And, you know, people talk about everybody has guns in America. No, uh, Chicago, uh, it's illegal. Uh, it's very, very extremely difficult to have guns in Chicago. So who has the guns? Where are they getting the guns? The bad guys get the guns. The bad guys have the guns. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's a sad state of affairs. 500 people killing each other. It's really sad. It's almost all gang activity. Almost all gangs. And there's lots of statistics. You can find out who's shooting and who's killing who. And it's really sad stuff. It's a sad state of affairs. Because of that, those numbers, I don't go to the south side or the west, west side of Chicago. It's, it's dangerous, especially at night. Right now it's at night. I would never go there. I wouldn't. Uh, maybe if I was with some friends and they really knew the area, maybe. But yeah, it's a sad state of affairs. It's really sad. So I, I really would like to live in a neighborhood where I don't constantly hear about another person getting shot. Pretty ridiculous. Pretty sad. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs. And you know what? It's not just in America. We go to Haiti, the country Haiti, which is in the Caribbean. They just had that hurricane, Hurricane Matthew, about a week and a half ago. Sad state of affairs. Uh, people still haven't recovered from the earthquake. It's a sad, sad state of affairs. It's really terrible. 
Some people, a lot of people will say the American political system, the the upcoming presidential election. Oh my God, both candidates are just terrible. It's a sad state of affairs. Lots of people would say that. Yeah. You can talk about your sports team. Maybe you love sports, but the, this year your team was just horrible. You could say, oh my God, my team, it's a sad state of affairs. So in Chicago, we have a football team called the Chicago Bears. Terrible. The team is just horrible. Um, <laughs> it's a sad state of affairs. So sometimes we use this expression for silly situations, uh, sports, but we also use it for very serious situations. And yeah, if you open the newspaper, turn on the news, turn on the internet, uh, you'll find a sad state of affairs someplace. So I want you guys to leave some examples down below. Uh, sad state of affairs, they're everywhere. Go online, look up the expression, start to use the expression, okay? A sad state of affairs. Let's try and create happy situations. Okay, here's some happiness. Free lessons, get 11 free lessons, listening and speaking lessons. Uh, I send them out, if you sign up, I send you two lessons. And then a day later, I send you two more lessons. And then two days after that, I send you four more lessons. And then two days later, I send you the speaking lessons. And then a couple days later, I send you another email. So it's a series of, I think, five emails. And uh, get it. And, and it's great. Uh, also, every I think every Tuesday, we send out a newsletter. Right now, it's every week. I might change it to uh, every two weeks or every month. I might keep it a week. I don't know. So far, people like it. Uh, they like the newsletter. So yeah, sign up for that stuff. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Okay? Uh, if you signed up and you didn't get the lessons, let me know. All right? Just send us an email. All right? Leave a message on the website and uh, we'll find out the problem so that you can get those lessons and that you can get the newsletter, all right? If you like the lessons, join the classes. That's all I ask. If you don't like the lessons, keep the classes. They're so good. But if you like them, join. 2017 is coming up. Join, join. That's it, check out the dialogue a couple more times. Build some happiness. Have a super week, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Over 500 shot dead in Chicago so far? This year. And guns are illegal here. It's a sad state of affairs. <gasps> Over 500 shot dead in Chicago so far? This year. And guns are illegal here. It's a sad state of affairs. <gasps> Over 500 shot dead in Chicago so far? This year. And guns are illegal here. It's a sad state of affairs. Thank you.